Thank you to all. Uh, this is uh, Dr. E. Kartike, Assistant Professor of Economics, uh, Department of Economics, KSR Arts and Science College for Women's, Tirchambur. Today we discuss about uh, human resource management. In this human resource management, uh, we discuss about different kinds of uh, human resource ma human resource management activities. First one is uh, learning objective. The contemporary human resource management perspective. First objective is contemporary human resource management perspective. Second one is the human resource functions in the organization. Human resource function in the organization. Third one is to discuss the fundamental goals of human resource management. Fundamental goals of human resource management. Fourth one is the human resource management from the professional and career related activities. Professional and career related activities. Fifth one is the settings of human resource management. So what are the settings involved in the human resource management? Human resource, human resource. Human resource means HR, we simply call as HR. The human resource are people and organization employed to carry out various jobs, tasks and function exchange for wage, salary and other rewards it's called the human resource. What is the human resource management? Here, the comprehensive sets of management activities uh, like uh, hiring the employees, uh, fixing the uh, wage and uh, salary, uh, what kind of work allotted for the uh, right person. These are all the activities involved in the human resource management. The contemporary human resource management perspective. The contemporary human resource management perspective means the law provides some rules and regulations for the human resource management. Here, the seventh Civil Rights Act made the organizations and find the way the rewards and manage the people effectively within the limits of law. So these are all the uh, contemporary human resource management perspectives involved in the human resource management. The evaluation of the human resource management. There are four processes in the evaluation of human resource management. First one is scientific management, one of the earliest approach to the management. This is for maximum efficiency and productivity. It's the main motive for scientific management. Second one is human relation era. So the human related era means uh, if an organization is providing incentive for the employees, uh, they earn more profit. That time they provide for incentive in the workers. That time the workers also happy and the workers also work more in the productivity. So it is called the productive worker or happy workers. Third one is the civil rights acts provide some uh, some uh, The Civil Rights Act provides some legal uh, related activities for promotion, promotion and uh, wage fixation, uh, creating need for the uh, employees' welfare. This kind of activities, uh, this kind of law provide for the uh, in this uh, Civil Rights Act. Next one is the organizations grow the creative spe uh, specialized units. Personal development. Every organization is to promote the personal development for their own employees. Then only they get more uh, knowledge about the that particular uh, organization. The functions of HRM. There are two tier, two classification of the functions. One is managerial function. Second one is operative functions. Uh, managerial functions called the planning organization. Uh, staffing, describing, and the controlling, and operative functionals is procurement, development, comprehensive, uh, maintenance, and uh, motivations, and uh, uh, integration of the industrial relations. These are all the functions of HRM. Scope of the HRM. Uh, the scope of the HRM means the uh, uh, HR activities choosing the uh, training, inducting, comprehensive, and to motivate the employees, and along with the industrial related activities, the personal labor. Uh, aspects for the 
uh, organization welfare aspects for the organization industry related acts, uh, aspects for the organization these are all the main uh, uh, scope of uh, hrm and hrm policies the planning the persons the right job and the employees the on the organization training and best jobs that the new team uh, improving the job performance uh, each person uh, gaining the creative cooperative and developing smooth working relationship in the uh, co-workers and the organization in interpreting the policies and productive of the company controlling the labor cost and developing the ability of each uh, each person creating the maintenance and depa department moral activities protecting the employees and the health the physical conditions these are all the uh, policies involved in the hrm so thank you